Good day students! Today, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic about applying safety measures in farm operations. Our lesson objectives are to identify areas, tools, materials, time and place in performing safety measures effectively and efficiently, and also to describe the appropriate safety measure in the use of farm tools and equipment. In content standards, the participants demonstrate an underlying theories in applying safety measures in farm operations. In performance standards, safety precautions are taken in accordance with job requirements and farm procedures. Next is tools and materials are used in line with the process and specification. Other is wear clothing that address the needs of the farm. Next is shelf life and or expiration of materials are effectively checked against manufacturer's specifications. Next is workplace hazard are identified and addressed in accordance with agricultural requirements. Next is emergency and accidents are responded to and prevented. And when it comes to learning competencies, the learning outcome one applies safety measures, use tools and materials according to specification and procedures, wear outfits according to farm requirements, observe strictly the effectivity, shelf, life, expiration of materials. Next is follow emergency procedure to ensure a safe work requirement. Next is report hazard in the workplace in line with farm guidelines. My name is Pia Almonte, your educator for today. So before we discuss our lesson for today, let us pray first. Dear God, thank you for looking up to school. Thank you that you love each and every one of us here. Help us to learn, play, and share together. It's incredible that you are there every second of the day, everywhere, all the time. Beside each of us, Amen. Good morning class! How are you today? That is good to hear! So I hope you are well prepared in our class for today because we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that surely a helpful knowledge to yourself as a student. So now, let us check your attendance. I want you to say present when I call your name that will serve you as your attendance for today. So before we proceed, get your assignment and we will check it now. Exchange your assignment with your seatmates. Class, imagine yourself in the farm. What do you think are the things that needed to be considered so that farmers cannot harm themselves? Very good! All of you are correct! Good morning, class. By the way, my name is Christian Omal. Shall serve as your teacher for this chapter. So, for today, our topic is all about Information Sheet 1.1 Apply Appropriate Safety Measures While Working in Farm So, before tayo mag-start dun sa pinakang discussion natin, may mga ilang terminologies na makikita tayo dito sa topic na to. First na, is yung safety. So, anyone here who will can give some ideas about safety? Yes, Miss One. Okay, very good. So, another hand for the occupational safety. Mm, that's good. And for the next, which is health, nice, very good. So next, another hand, mm, that's good, that's good. So another hand, 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, this one, can you read the introduction? Thank you, Ms. Wan. So, sabi dito, maraming panganib ang makikita natin sa, sa farm. Then, kung hindi alam ng mga farmers natin na may panganib, ay maaring magdulot ito ng mga pinsala, especially sa katawan, and maging or magbigay ng cost of death then dapat ang ating mga farmers ay palagi dapat ina-apply ang appropriate safety me measures while working in the farm then Anyone who will read the idea about hazard, risk, and exposure in the farm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Mr. John. Okay, thank you, Mr. John. So, for the hazard, risk, and exposure, Ang mga ito ay isang uh, malaking factors pagdating sa trabaho and isang pangunahing sanhi ng aksidente, pinsala sa mga manggagawa natin, especially dun sa uh, mga farmers natin. Then, this hazard should, should be the major concern of all who are involved in a certain job or work. So, it is important to distinguish hazard risk and exposure when undertaking risk management. So, anyone uh, who will can explain or give an idea for hazard? For the other hand, other hand for uh, risk. Hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. And for the last, which is exposure. So, uh, okay, Miss Almonte. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. By the way, uh, thank you din pala sa idea Mr. Ricardo for the uh, risk so anyone can you read and explain the first classes of hazard mm, so okay uh, Miss Dehesa hmm that's good, very good. So, a physical hazard is an agent, factor, or circumstance that can cause harm with contact. Second, other hand for chemical and electrical, uh, is, yes, Mr. Garin. Thank you. So, chemical and electrical hazard is it is a part or tools and object or materials process or use in the workplace. So, for the uh, number three, another hand for explanation in chemical. Uh, classes of hazard. Mm, yes, Miss Kate. 
Okay, thank you. So, a chemical hazard is a substance that has the potential to cause harm to life and health. So, next is biological. We'll read and explain the second to the last of classes of hazard. Yes, uh, Miss B. Okay, thank you. Biological hazard that possess a threat to the health of living organism or primarily in a humans. So, and the last, who will read and explain the psychosocial environment? Okay, Miss Wilson. Very good. <clears throat> Psychosocial environment. In a very simple explanation, it is a work stressor, rather. So, for the, our uh, next topic is farm emergency procedure regarding safety procedure environment. Yes, Ms. Jean, can you identify the potential emergencies that may occur on crop production farm could include it? Mm, thank you. Yes, yes, kasama to. Mm, thank you. And does this Okay, thank you, Miss Jen. So, uh, Mr. Devrin, can you read the number 2, 3, and 4? Okay. Yes, yes. So, thank you, Mr. Devrin. And for the number three, uh, number five rather, five and six, we'll read and give an insight. Uh, yes, Miss Laila. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your uh, explanation. And for our last topic, we have the following may increase risk of injury or illness for farm workers. So, dito is uh, may dalawa tayo ditong factors. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Ricardo. Can you read and explain the age and equipment and machinery in the following factors. Hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ricardo. So, any more question, class? And thank you and goodbye. <clears throat> Good day, everyone. My name is Jarvin Ricardo. So, our topic for today is Farm works that involve using chemicals and the surgeon's tools and equipment. So, spraying chemicals. So, bakit ba tayo nag-spray ng mga chemicals sa isang halaman? Unang-una, ginagamit natin ito upang uh, papataba ang ating mga pananim. Sunod is para maiwasan yung pagka, uh, pagkain ng mga peste sa ating halaman. So, may, many different chemicals are used on a farm including pesticide these chemicals are used to fertilize and control pests such as insect with mollusk etc most of these chemicals are applied by spraying so examples of chemi chemical hazard so spraying in a strong wind and the spray drifting over a dam or the farmhouse 
washing his free equipment and the water running into open drains, collecting in puddles or running into his stockyards or dams. Then container or chemicals left lying around, empty containers lying in the heap. So, some ways you can reduce the risk of hazard from chemicals. So, who wants to read this? Okay, Ro Robert. Please read this. Use personal protective equipment such as respirator, waterproof clothes, rubber gloves, and waterproof footwear. Make sure chemicals are safely stored and cupboards locked. So, dapat hindi... Uh, Yung mga chemicals natin is dapat may nasa tamang lagayan na hindi maabot ng uh, humagay nakatamang uh, naka-inventory siya o nasa tamang lagayan niya. Never spray chemicals on days when there is a high wind. So, dapat alam mo kung kailan ka mag uh, gagamit ng uh, o mag, mag gagamit ng mga chemicals o mag spray sa chemicals dapat yung uh, hindi siya mahangin o hindi malakas yung hangin. No first aid procedures. So, dapat alam mo kung, uh, kung paano mag uh, gumamit ng o maglapat ng paunang lunas. Keep a list of hazardous substances used on the farm. So, dapat yung mga, uh, mga gagamitin mong uh, mga chemicals or substances na ginagamit sa farm is yung uh, may pangalan o may mga label. Then, Safe use of chemicals. Consider if chemical substance is really need. Eliminate a hazard substance or if that is not possible, substitute it with less hazardous one. So, safe work practices or personal protective, protective equipment should be used. So, dapat uh, pag nasa workplace ka o gumagawa ka ng trabaho is dapat uh, nakapipi ka. Then, keep records of farm chemicals. So, yun nga dapat. Uh, mga farm chemicals so ay ano, may mga pangalan. So, land preparation using tractor. So, victim fall of are thrown from the tractor. Run over the either the tractor or implement being towed or boat. And the last one is overturn. So, safety reminders. So, Tractors are not passenger vehicle. So, use seat belt when driving tractor. So, dapat uh, nagagumagamit ka din daw ng seat belt uh, pag gumagamit ka ng isang tractors. Roofs will protect operator from serious injury. So, cause of over, uh, cause of run over accident. So, sudden stop. So, yung biglaan na Uh, pag preno pag ti uh, oh, pag preno na hindi ka gumagamit ng seat belt so and the last one is driving over holes stumps and debris or a sharp turn so how to prevent overrun so bogart please read this so, never allow ri riders on tractors discuss with family members and farm workers The potential risk of riding tractor. It also helpful to post no riders decals on all tractors to remind others about the policy. And the last one is use of provide other vehicles that allow passengers such as truck or cars when transportation is needed to fields or remote remote work sites. Cutting trees using chainsaw. A, chain, a chainsaw makes light work or filling duck and cutting up trees but threat it with, the, with the respect. A chainsaw can easily slice through muscle or bone if it kicks back towards you. It's essential to get training from a qualified person before you use a chainsaw. So, example of chainsaw hazard. Chainsaw kickback cause when the upper part of the bar nose contacts a solid object or its pinch. This throws the guide back, uh, bar back towards you and cause serious injury. Using a small chainsaw and bar to fill the big tree. Failing large shelter, bur shelter 
bell trees or trees with a heavy length or on step slopes. Peeling trees with stem or root as species prone to splitting. Some ways you can reduce the risk of hazard from chainsaws are know your saw and how to use the safety devices. So, dapat alam mo kung paano gamitin ang yung chainsaw at saka uh, yung maingat na paggamit dito. Wear and use the correct personal safety equipment. You need footwear, boots, with the steel toe caps. So, pag gumagamit ka ng chainsaw, chainsaw dapat uh, nagsusuot ka ng PPO. PPEO, Personal Protective Equipment. Ito, uh, katulad nga ng footwear boots with steel cap to, toe cups. Then, check the, the work area for hazards such as branches or tree tops that could fall. So, dapat uh, uh, tinitingnan mo yung uh, pinagtatrabahuan mo kung uh, Kung pwedeng uh, mabagsakan ka ng uh, mga sanga-sanga ng puno pag pinuputol mo na yung isang puno. Then check that your saw is a good order and adjusted to the manufacturer specification. So dapat yung uh, gagamitin mong chainsaw is uh, nasa good condition. Do not overage cut above shoulder height. So pag magpuputol ka ng puno is hindi pwede naman na mas mataas sa balikat o mas mataas pa sa ulo mo. Then, Personal Protective Equipment o PPE. Personal Protective Equipment or PPE can reduce the number and severity of farm work, re related injuries and illnesses. Personal Protective Equipment not only helps protect people but also in Uh, improves productivity and profit. So, uh, may iba't iba tayong PPE na ginagamit sa depende sa ating mga trabaho. Then, farms and ranches can share in these benefits but by using the appropriate protective equipment for themselves, family, members, and employees when the job and its potential hazard call for it. So, pr protect your head with the hard hat when performing construction work, trimming trees, repeat. Uh, repairing machineries and doing other jobs with head injury risk. Then, use a sun safety hat. So, to assist in the preven prevention of skin cancer. Protect your vision with the appropriate safety eyewear such as safety glasses, goggles, face shield when applying pesticide, fertilizer, <coughs> working in the shop or in a heavy dust condition. Protect your hearing with acoustic earmuffs or plugs when operating noisy equipment such as green dryers, speed grinders, older tractors, chainsaw, etc. Protect your lungs with the correct respiratory equipment such as dust mask, cart cartridge, respiratory, gas mask, air fox. When working in, in, dust in dusty, or moldy condition spray, painting, applying chemicals, work in bins, tanks, yellows, and manure storage, free, storage places. So, for, uh, acti for your activity, in your notebook, write only the letter of the correct answer that is appropriate to given PPE. So, match the personal protective equipment in column A, in its appropriate using on the farm in the column B. So, let us check it. So, that's all for today. Thank you. Good day, guys. My name is Patricia Ayala, and I am going to continue the discussion that Ms. Almonte, Mr. Licardo, and Mr. Amal presented earlier. So, did you understand the topic that they discussed today class okay so if you really understand the lesson that they discussed today can you enumerate the five classes of hazard very well said and what are the examples of physical hazards 
Excellent. What about the chemical or electrical hazards? Very good. And what about the examples of chemical hazards? Very well said. And what are the examples of biological hazards? Very good. What about the examples of psychosocial environment hazards? And the last one, what are the examples of farm, farms potential emergencies? Great! So I am glad that you had remembered and learned something. And now, let us apply it. So, we will be having a group activity. So, the class will be divided into five groups that will be presenting the importance of applying safety measures on farm operations. They can make a poem, role play, or anything that comes to their mind as long as they, you give the main idea with the following rubrics. So, the rubrics are, first is creativity which is 40%, relevance to the topic, 40%, cooperation or the unity, 10%, the impact, which is 10%, for the total of 100%. So let's move on to the evaluation. We will be having a short quiz, so get one fourth sheet of paper. And then listen carefully. Number one. What are the five classes of hazards? Number two. What are the two factors that may increase risk of injury or illness for farm workers? And number three. Give three examples of personal protective equipment or the PPE with its uses. So now, kindly pass your paper. So for your assignment, make a reaction paper about the lesson that was being discussed today on one whole sheet of pad paper and it will be submitted tomorrow. So, for a little reminder guys, please be ready for the continuation of our lesson for tomorrow and make sure to review and do, the, do your assignments, okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Class dismissed and God bless us all. Thank you.